partly each other, Bernard. Let's see if we can have to play this one chivalrously. Yeah. What's Tim like as a player? Frankly, I'm disappointed, Adam. I've taught him everything I know about the game, and he knows nothing. Unadventurously pedestrian is the word I'd use. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's a good couple of inches out of true, but it's going to have to do, I'm afraid. White wash and white Christmas, white horse and white bridge and white ball. White dirt and white liveries, white helmets, white truncheons, white face and white filly, white law. What's the reason behind this dramatic differential? Well, it's largely a question of concentration. Uh, Adrian, uh, Michael here appears to be very easily distracted. Doesn't seem to keep his mind on anything for any length of time. I'll just show you a little, a little test here that I think will show you what I mean. Michael, I'm going to throw this egg up in the air, and I want you to catch it. All right? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you want. Uh, well, I was hoping. Smell that. What's that like? <laughs> it's French. Well, half French on my mother's side. Very nice. Look, love, this next thing more love like the new bad conversation, so don't you start, all right? Red Roar, it's been, so you can shut up for a start. No, I'm sorry you're barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> Five point penalty to come back, full question to Footlights and Uncle Ferry. He came to represent the mobile cathartic slipwit of the Footlights Monte. Uh, now, uh, wasn't it, wasn't it Monk de Wally de Hong? Yes, but we're almost there. Can you give me any more? Certainly. Will 50 pounds do? Absolutely. Small <laughs> Very exciting. So off you go. Lots of exciting work. Time now. Gathering for the buttocks. Let's see the rest of the speech. Let's see how it works. Tie! And has my lord Wallace at his back when he puts arms for oblivion in great size monster in the gratitude. <laughs> well, as you can see, there's still a long way to go, isn't there? If you need someone younger, I'm sure I can help you. Oh, don't like young men. You're thrown out the other side in no time at all. That's the fun of it. Yes, I've noticed your flair for agonized young men. I think you get them involved from tuberculosis for us. Yes, then the, the origin. <laughs> Do you think this place is all right? It's wonderful. Downstairs. She better not see you and not Nazi too. Do not be special. I'll be safe. You mustn't go downstairs. Who's Mrs. Thing? Can I My daily help, my little treasure. How do you get a daily help to come on a Sunday? And we can do the flower arranging dance. talking about and it sounds damn saucy you lucky thing <laughs> i know some fairly liberal minded girls but i've never penultimated any of them in that solo sojourn that to be given any norman tongue <laughs> i believe sir that the doctor is trying to tell you that he is happy because he has finished his book in other words hold my hand hold your what hand oh yes in other words baby kiss me oh bravo peter thank you very much well, thank you lovely. phil marshall uh, for standing quite a long way away from me uh next week in a special issue i shall be taking a shower with kingsley amos and fatima whitbread until then <laughs> say this. The Daniels have given you a wonderful formula for success. I don't think any of you here today have a thing to worry about because you're all part of the colossal energy field generated by Scott and Dan Dare. The assistant control air threw up a list of jobs to us. Thank you. Can I read them out? Uh, please do. Uh, linking spots on TBAM Tuesday mornings. Uh, Pre-match interviews for the Allied Provincial Volleyball Tournament. Celebrity birthday roundup at 6.30 Sunday mornings. Uh, or there's the epilogue. A Christmas sherry and charade with honest, manly fellows. I mean, for heaven's sake, what can I do with a girl that I can't do with you, eh? I cannot conceive. <laughs> no, 
Now, who's first up for the game? I've asked old Horatio here, but he's out of it, I'm afraid. So it's uh, what, a little monkey fellow first, is it? It is indeed. Uh, excellent. Oh, I'd love a short answer. Trust me, what? This is for you. Oh, yes, thank you. Well, someone's got to do it. Do what? Lead the protest. Be the figurehead. It's obvious you're the universal army. Oh, really? Well, thank you. I don't understand. Why doesn't everyone just burn down Downing Street? Yes, I don't speak the language, remember? I've only been here 12 years. Let's get away with the jeans. More about this. Spangled gown upon a beauty of hand downs on clown and cutie all misfits. Put them on the Ritz. I'm just as well him, he chose the Ritz Street. Imagine the trouble he'd have got into if he decided to write about uh, putting on the Regency. And then suppose he'd find a rhyme for Regency. Uh, you're t- <laughs> well, you're very welcome, I'm sure. I'm Johnny Talmas. How do you do? Uh, let me introduce you to, to my friends. Uh, thank you. How do you choice. Make your allegiance. Me or her. This is neither the time nor the place. This is absolutely the time and the place. My God, you're sitting on the fence so hard the bloody palings are coming out your mouth. See you later, Duncan. Old friend. Smollett, is that you? Oh, thank heavens it is. What a relief. Why, I thought you were robbers and the knights coming to steal my precious money. <laughs> what a dreadful thought. No, you never can be too careful these days. In fact, I always say... Squire, it's mighty cold out here. May we come in? It's an everyone's happy, aren't they, Uncle? Sounds just like America, doesn't it? We should all drink to it. America, America, over the hills and far away. I'm a Yankee Doodle <laughs> Man, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die. <laughs> Emily's silly dream. Wherever you may go. Oh, you, sir. Oh, you, sir. Have you ever been to Rio de Janeiro, sir? Were you ever in Quebec, sir? Hmm? Oh. Donkey riding, sir. Riding on a donkey. Hey, ho, sir. Where oh. we go? Donkey oh. riding. Suit you. Suit, Suit you, you, sir. Run along. Suit you, oh. you sir. Oh. Hooray! This is splendid. Oh. This is my friend. I was just going to send a boat down the river for you, Ratty, with strict orders that you were to be fetched up here at once, whatever you were doing. I want you badly, both of you. No, this is Mo. Ah, oh, splendid, splendid. Now, uh, what will you take? Uh, come inside and have something. Oh, I don't know how lucky it is you're turning up just now. Let's see. Get out! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I could have been killed! Oh, ah. Look at my leg. Oh, oh, dislocated, probably. I could have a permanent limp. You should be more careful throwing yourself out of the sky like that. Ooh. I am more sorry than I can say. If you would prefer me to stay, I am at your service. Mr. Palmer, that is very kind. But Colonel Brandon and Dr. Harris will look after us. Thank you for everything you have done. Yes, 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 it is rather revolting. Awfully sorry. Interesting wine, though. Oh, thank you, Mark. Yes. <laughs> Went to a bit of trouble. It manages to be bland and acid, both at the same time. Morning, Ellie. Isn't it a fantastic day? Shh. What? We try not to wait too. Grandma's made him stay in bed after his adventure. We've given him one of her secret herbal folk remedies. Oh, no, Tom. She says he'll sleep all day. Then he'll either get better or his head'll fall off. Really? No. Tore open his throat. 
ripped out his vocal cords, leaving him brutally scarred and completely mute. He cannot talk at all. Now pay attention. Look at me. Pay attention. This is very important. There are two things you must not do with Skinner. Right? One, do not look at the horrendous scar on his neck. Yeah. Who is it? I don't have to shoot. That's what I'm Lady Matilda Duffy. Or Miss Emma Bunter. The murderer is Father Conan Murphy. Ah! God, man, what happened to your face? Something I can help you with, officer. Well, sir, a slight disturbance of the peace has been reported. It appears that an ice cream vendor, pest control operative. All the time. A pest for the high IQ, a, a gift to never knew. Without the brains of what remains, there's little you can do. A high IQ, a priceless point of view. It's wise to listen to somebody who could guide you through. Excuse me. If you're planning on doing that throughout the entire flight, please tell me now so that I can take a sedative. <laughs> Maybe slip you one. <laughs> it's just I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm uh, I'm going to London to uh, to tell this guy that I love him. <laughs> but Paris is the most beautiful city in the world. Why should my people feel anything but pride and contentment? Well, of course, Majesty, I'm sure they are content and proud, but they are also stark. Majesty, if we distributed some of the food that has been reserved for the army, the priest, there would be Aramis. plenty of time to gather. You were young. Valerie de Malnef. Took advantage of your contact. Mademoiselle Chocke. Oh, your wife. Not your church. I promise you here and now that I will never, ever be unfaithful again. Um. While we're waiting, uh, can I ask what is this hedge for? Uh, it's to protect the commands. To protect you from AIDS? Protect the commands, yes. Yeah, well, I thought that's what you said. What, 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 what? Well, I, I read in the newspaper uh, the other day that uh, in these uncertain times, we'd all do well to, to use some sort of hedge against infection by HIV and AIDS. We've got the Balkans. Uh, well, look, here we are. One, two, three there. Look, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Kosovo, Greater Serbia. Everyone satisfied? Well, very good. Very good. I think, gentlemen, we have guaranteed the peace and freedom of Europe for a forever. 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 Uh, may I say, Ambassador, that with this historic redrafting of the European borders, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> What's wonderful is how you both know what the other one is going to say before you even say it. Not that it's any of my business. Yes, well, that happens. We've been together as long as we have. For being a family. Family. Lucky she doesn't know I'm also planning to invite Steffi Graf, the cause, and Baby Spice to the party. Sam, I'm very sorry about your film idea. But you do understand, don't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this could be too easy. Coming through! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what? You, you swear no, Billy. Oh, it's cricket. Marvellous game, really. You see, the bowler hurls the ball towards the bathroom and drives the player away to find leg. He endeavours to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicketkeeper hasn't whipped his bails off, of course. Anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Uh, no, it's not. It's marvellous. I think it could be really magical. Well, I've already done magic. Please. Very well indeed. 
thank you. And you brought little Terrier Tom along with you as a surprise. Good to see you, Tom. Good. Well, now, I thought it might be rather jolly if we walked about a bit. Always gives on a bit of a free song, don't you find? Going amongst the plebs, talking of high estate secrets. And if you're very good, I've got a bit of a treat for you. Word. Oh, of course it is. But your Uncle Crenshaw says that every little starts talking by nine months. Uncle Crenshaw's case never stops. Are you both coming to the game? <sighs> Wouldn't miss it. Proud. Anxious. Especially about the show. The show was good. You. You were a guy who did stuff. Yeah. Now you watch women's volleyball. Then say you love me also, Ethel. I do love you also, Bernard. I I love you with passion. You are to me like a heathen god with your manly form and handsome flashing face. Precisely what I had in mind. Oh, we were just looking at the videos because... He knows. Oh. Shame. I don't think the young people should be forced to watch this, do you? No, it's cool. We really like it. The Krasinski twins are wicked. It's that really funny bit with the baguette. No, I don't mean this. I mean, look, Edwin Ward, just go. Stop looking at the suspiciously empty bottle and look at the screen. Here's why I get the big box. This is nothing. An enhanced version of nothing. This is the problem. They taught him how to make worm juice surprise. experience for us little men <laughs> just uh, testing your reflexes dear and you passed I did the same thing with this girl once she was a waitress at a jazz bar I sent her section didn't let anybody else serve she changed sections I changed tables persistence that's the key Busted tired dance moves are no match for my security protocols. We can't hold them off much longer! That's one thing you don't know about me, my dear. My PhD is in dance! Mr. Tahiti, one night he asked for pie for dessert. As the pie cooled innocently in the porthole sill, my employer attempted to inject it with poison, but I caught him in the act. Unfortunately, the strength of ten businessmen. He sent me Napwood with a bottle of low sodium soy sauce. Kitty figure. Exactly. The figurehead means a fatty with a beard who fits the suit. The other pieces are good too. Or I can make exercises for everyone. Why don't you be the candle, Steve? All those bright ideas, eh? Fine. I'm the candle. Arthur's the turkey, and you, father, are, of course. Oh, Dad, don't want to be the Easter bunny. Listen to me. Four thousand years of tradition doesn't end just because one selfish bunny doesn't feel like doing it. 
that. No, E.B., you look. You are going to be the Easter Bunny. You need to get it together, get rid of these drums, and get your priorities straight. I'll see you out there. Who's playing? I have no idea. It's, it's <laughs> the, um... Guys in red against the guys in white. white. Yeah. Go, Brads. I don't understand why he lets her with Puppet Paul in hand on. Pip is like an immigrant. He's moving from one level of society to another. Change of names, but it's a change of clothes. It's a moment to change sometimes. It can be enjoyed as video games, as TV shows, books, movies, the entire world wholeheartedly embraced the apocalypse and sprinted towards it with gleeful abandon. Meanwhile, your Earth was crumbling all around you. You've got simultaneous epidemics of obesity and starvation. Explain that. You really wanted me, didn't you? There were sparks practically flying out of your deck. Are you getting this sense of deja? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the green room. That was just a good old-fashioned hate box. I, I, I do not and never have hated you. You got that right. Loved me. Stop it. You still love me now. What? You do. Admit it. Admit it. You don't. Assembly of limbs and fatty tissue, I assume it's Dr. Watson. Hmm. Before everything, I used to share a staircase with Tommy Traddles. He's a terrific fellow. And Kamerad Typhonidad, as the French say. Oh, there's the thing. I completely forgot that I can I can speak French. This, this is a remarkable day. What is this nonsense? It's meat, sir. And vegetables, I think. Oh. I will have sardines on toast in my tent. Of course, sir. He says she's your daughter. Which one? The one who doesn't speak to me or the other? Neither of them. Then who? The new one. Yes. The third of the doctor. I'll cancel all your appointments. I'll see you back home. Crying probably in cool. Harrison, we really are in space. I think. It's so cute. When you're lying. We're all right. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. What's your next move? Huh? That's a good question. Thought I might twat you one. Go ahead. I like being hit. How do you do? I've heard lots about you. No, you. Really? I don't, man. You'd be surprised. Your accident caused quite a stir in the village. Oh, you know, that's how I like my villages. Perhaps because it was not an accident. It's just how many times? It's Maurice. Maurice. All right, fine, out with it. Well, Maurice. Dangerous Beans thinks we shouldn't live by trickery. Oh, is that what Dangerous Beans thinks? You know, some think there's a good deal too much thinking going on. And I think I agree. Jesus right. <laughs> when an American family moves into a grand English estate, they hear it's haunting, but they don't expect this. I have dwelt here for 500 years. How dare they inhabit mine ancestral home? 